What's up, Mo Penguins? Today we're going to do topic 2018, number six. This one's on cellular organelles. And so they give us this background. They talk about cystic fibrosis and how it's a genetic condition that's associated with defects in the CFTR protein. And then they tell us that the CFTR protein is a gated ion channel that requires ATP binding in order to allow chloride ions to diffuse across the membrane. They then give us this model of a cell, and they say, draw the arrows to describe the pathway for production of a normal CFTR protein from gene expression to the final cellular location. So we think to ourselves, we say, okay, well, where are the genes at? Well, the genes are going to be part of the DNA. And so our DNA is going to be found in our nucleus. And so if we're trying to go from gene expression, that means we go from DNA to RNA. Okay, well, that's all taking place in the nucleus. Then the RNA is going to leave the nucleus, and it's going to go to the rough ER. So we should have an arrow going from nucleus to the rough ER, or you should go from nucleus to a ribosome to the rough ER. After that, after we, of course, synthesize our protein in the rough ER, we're going to send them to the Golgi bodies to be packaged and modified. Um, so you should see an arrow going to Golgi. And then because of the fact that we know this protein is going to end up in the membrane, because it's a gated channel to allow things to diffuse across the membrane, then after the Golgi apparatus, it's going to go to the plasma membrane. So we should have three arrows going from nucleus to the rough ER, to the Golgi, and then to the plasma membrane. And that is what we see here on our diagram. Um, you could have drawn it as a straight line through, or you could have just drawn the three different arrows to each of the different organelles. Now, we're not going to see it going to the mitochondria because the fact that that's, number one, not part of the endomembrane system, as well as um, we're not talking about the, the needing of ATP for that. Um, the ATP is going to come from the mitochondria, yes, but we don't need the protein to go to the mitochondria. And the lysosomes are for degradation, so we don't need to degrade or break down this protein. We just want to know what is the pathway for the normal protein. They then go, oh, I'm sorry, we're looking at the student's response. So the student's in nucleus to the rough ER, check. Um, they also went from the uh, rough ER to the Golgi, and then they went from the Golgi positive membrane, so the student got their one point there. The second question says, identify the most likely cellular location of the ribosomes that synthesize the CFTR protein. So we want to know where are the ribosomes? Well, we know the ribosomes are synthesizing proteins, and we know that we're trying to synthesize a membrane protein. So the place where we see ribosomes on a membrane would be, of course, our endoplasmic reticulum. Now, I always tell students, you want to write a complete sentence out for any identification point. You sometimes can get credit just for saying just the words. And when I graded this one on the exam, you were able to get it for just stating endoplasmic reticulum. Um, but I always tell my students to write in complete sentences. So let's see what the student said. Students said ribosomes synthesized the CFTR protein would probably be found on the rough ER. So they got their point there. And then part C, identify the most likely cellular location for the mutant CFTR protein that has an amino acid substitution in the ATP binding site. And so since we're looking for where are we going to find the mutant protein, the protein is still going to be found in the plasma membrane because of the fact that the protein is a gated ion channel and it's meant to diffuse things across the membrane. So it must be sitting in the membrane as a transport protein. So we'd expect to find it in the plasma membrane. And again, this is an identification. You could just write the one word, but I always tell students write this in complete sentences. So you and CFTR protein likely embedded in plasma membrane. Student got credit. So hope that was helpful. And remember, if you have a pen, you just success. Bye, y'all.